inline six versus V6. This has become quite the debate in recent years in the automotive community. BMW has obviously been taking the side of inline sixes for many years now, but even now Mercedes is getting back into the inline six game, the new Toyota Supra, which obviously is a BMW engine, but again, inline six. And now there's another player that's going back to an inline six, and that's Jaguar Land Rover. So I suppose I should clarify. It's actually only Jaguar who's getting back to the inline six. I had one back in the day that was very successful and very liked. Range Rover, Land Rover, excuse me, has actually never had an inline six before. They've only had V6s. So this is actually the first time that a Land Rover, Range Rover project will feature the inline six. And they're actually coming pretty soon. We should see them this summer in the new Range Rover and then soon in the new Range Rover Sport. So what's actually really exciting about this and why it's worth covering is not just that it's a switch to an inline six, which personally I think is a great move. Uh, I think an inline six has a much better sound than a V6. and there's just um, there's something special about them. But what's really exciting about this is how it's actually a very high-tech engine and really a big step forward from Jaguar Land Rover. And it's really cool to see how in the recent years this company has really been uh, taking steps forward to kind of reform themselves and really push the envelope again with their vehicles. So I'm kind of excited to see what they can do with this engine and what's in store for them in the coming years. So this engine's a kind of an interesting arrangement. It's a turbocharged and electrically supercharged 3 liter motor, which can also be mated to a 48 volt mild hybrid system. So just from that alone, you can tell this makes it one of the most high tech engines on the market right now. And what's really exciting about it is how Jaguar Land Rover is setting themselves up for in the future to easily combine this with hybrid systems that will be growing and evolving. And Jaguar Land Rover has also mentioned in the past how in the next few years they want to have a full electric variant of every model in their lineup. So this is really kind of a step towards that and a step towards the future in terms of increasing efficiency with their uh, internal combustion engines as well as offering full electric variants. In terms of configuration, it's somewhat similar to the Volvo twin charge engines, which are supercharged and turbocharged, but those are only four cylinders. So the benefit here is that not only is it super efficient for an internal combustion engine, but it should also sound much better because it's an inline six. So this engine is making its debut in the Range Rover Sport HST, which is actually available for order already in the UK and should be coming to other markets like the US later this year. So let's dive into the specs of the engine a little bit. Uh, based on what we know from the manufacturer, it's gonna have 395 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque. Both of those numbers are increases over the old V6 supercharged engine, even the 380 horse variant. It's said that this will propel the Range Rover Sport from zero to 60 in a respectable 5.9 seconds, which again, not bad for a vehicle that size. The electric supercharger can spool up to its maximum 65,000 RPM in just half a second. The benefit of this is that it virtually eliminates any turbo lag present in the engine. And additionally, the 48 volt hybrid system can recapture energy during deceleration, which can then redeploy it through torque assistance. All in all, Jaguar Land Rover summarizes this engine by saying that it's cleaner, quieter, smoother, more efficient, and more powerful than the outgoing V6 that it replaces. So if you're interested in seeing this vehicle, make sure you go to a dealership later this summer and check out the new Range Rover Sport HST when it hits here in the US. I know I will for sure be checking it out because I'm really curious just to see how this engine handles and what it feels like and it's just really interesting to see such a complex high-tech engine. So I've driven a similar engine in the Volvos and it's actually very impressive how smooth and seamless these can be even with these uh, twin charge systems. So it'll be really interesting to see it with a six cylinder application here in the Range Rover. Um, and in the future, look for it to also be an option in the new Range Rover, uh, the full size Range Rover when that comes to the US later in 2021. It is also likely that this will be making its way over to the Jaguar side of things in the near future and replacing all the existing V6s, but that may be sometime down the road uh, while Jaguar Land Rover works to ramp up production of this engine. But all in all, I think it's a pretty neat engine. Let me know what you guys think down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video.